the channel. I'm back home in India and today I'm going to meet my school time friend. We've known each other since we were in class 5. That's when I came to the school in Delhi. So we've known each other a long time so I'm going there just to catch up with her but I thought I'll put on a little light face of makeup, do my everyday glowy clean girl look which is really in right now. I hope we're in focus for that. Filming directly in uh, sunlight so let's go. Uh, my makeup I like to keep these days in this little bag which is from Lakme like if you buy some makeup you get it my mom gave it to me and it's just a laundry pouch but it's like a perfect size so there we go this is like the funky makeup with like eyeshadows and fake nails and everything this is my everyday flight makeup bag but sorry about that ever since I found out about these cushions in um, cushion foundations I have not gone back anyway so to start off I like to use the rare beauty primer this is called illuminating primer and the way it illuminates your skin honey amazing so I like to put like this much only I was never used to using small mirrors like I needed a big mirror but now I'm kind of enjoying it because you can see the details more since it's a can you see the illumination even if you don't wear makeup you want to spend some money on makeup product this is great because see now my face is glowy so you just put it on the highlighting areas and it looks like you're glowing from within then as always I'm gonna use my LA girl uh, concealer but guys I ran out of that yellow color corrector if you've been following me for a while so I have this pale yellow color color corrector which is very light the thing I like about the LA girl concealer is how thin the formula is so you can really build up the coverage and I'm just gonna use this much a bit luckily since I'm home I've been actually sleeping so that's great I'm gonna put a bit around the mouth we've got some discoloration happening there mainly focusing around the eyes so the yellow will sort of brighten up my eyes it's not cancelling out the darkness but it's giving the brightness we have yellow undertones so it looks very good on us now I'm gonna use my shade which is I don't know it has rubbed off this one I like to put a bit more than usual like this is my shade recently learned if you put this here it's gonna give you like an eye lift if you if I may but the concealer needs to be a bit lighter than your shade mine is not but okay I like to put it underneath my brows to have like a clean look there sort of clean up the brows I do lots of vlogs now if you follow me on my vlog channel can you see it's peeling off already I've used it that much but if you follow me on my vlog channel I've been uploading there my Instagram has been lit okay I've been really putting a lot of effort in my Instagram I upload so many reels so like this video if you follow me on Instagram and if you don't go follow me on Instagram and this like and then like this video I'm gonna use my Rimmel London uh, translucent powder I love this still using this this is an amazing product it's so lightweight so if you notice every makeup item that I've used so far is lightweight it's not the full coverage vibe I mean if you need full coverage that's up to you I'm getting a phone call BRB hi guys so the phone call was my friend telling me we can't meet today because something came up so I scrapped that makeup video and I'm now picking the camera back up from my birthday. I'm wearing daggers. Today's my birthday. That's correct. I turn 28 today. Oh. I'm gonna reach the point where I reached in that video, which is completing my concealer, and then I'll get back to you. Okay, bye. So I reached the point where I set my face. I like to use a brown pencil to do my eyebrows because my hair is brown, so I like to match it a bit. Not making my eyebrows look too intense and dark. The plan is to go for a pottery class, which I'm very excited about. My mom has wanted to do this for a long time. I too have wanted to do this for a long time. So we as a family are going for a pottery class. Then sightsee a bit. Let's see. I'm using this e.l.f. transparent. Um, oh wow, my battery is red. Of course, it will be. I just want to make like a little fox eye situation, but with a brown... Um, eyeshadow so it doesn't look too intense let me come back to that this camera can literally shut off at any minute brownish shade then I'm gonna extend it how I do my eyeliner here there we go actually it's done can you tell I just extended it that's it it's done it's done that's what Kylie Jenner's makeup artists do I am very sure because then the makeup looks natural but you still get the fox eye effect and I feel like the more you touch it the more you're gonna ruin it so I'm not gonna touch it I'm gonna take it bottom lash line towards the end especially I don't know I don't like a lot of harsh lines of eyeliner when I'm doing a natural glow from within kind of look you know so yeah I celebrated my cousin sister's birthday yesterday we went out went to horse cars 
so it's her birthday it's her birthday yesterday then me and my brother's birthday today so it's, it's been fun ever since we were young celebrate back to back birthday i want to use this lakme shine line and shimmery bronze it's like a bronzy shade and i really like it it looks so good on our skin tone it's like a rose gold rose gold copper color almost that's what it is it's copper so i'm just going to do a little wing over there But since it's not black, you know, it doesn't look that harsh, and I love it. So if you come close enough to me, that's when you'll be able to see it. I think it looks very nice, very classy. And ever since Euphoria, the TV show came out, eyeliners are a huge thing. I know Devashree Banerjee came out with her eyeliner. So funky eyeliners are big. Like you don't do anything, but you put on some funky eyeliner. Wow. There you go. Wow. That looks like a fox eye, fox eye. But I did not do anything. I just put on the eye shadow and then the copper eyeliner. That's it. That's all I did. Now I'm gonna put some eye mascara. I did bring two blushes. Look at this. This is like an orangish blush for when I'm doing like a natural look. Look at that. It's from Sephora. But I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna use my pink blush because my it's like a purplish pinkish blush. My top is red, so I don't want an orange blush. It's like good, but it's not amazing. You know, like you're not missing out. But if you don't want to pay extreme prices for other brands in Sephora, the Sephora brand is good enough. Okay, there. Mascara. But you know, there's a there's a trick in everything. I'm not just gonna do a mascara like this. I'm gonna tilt my eyelashes to the side so that the fox eye looks even more foxy. That's what all these celebrities do, guys. Look, I've put the mascara. Okay, like normal. Now I'm gonna push them to the side. See, I'm pushing them to the side. There we go. This is my second. This is Get Big Lashes. Guess where I'm gonna put this? You're right, only on the corners. Like, can you tell that it's more heavy on the outside? As I said, some people put individual lashes. I didn't do that. Just with the regular everyday products, that's what you can do. See, I just put I I tilted the eyelashes to the side. Can you tell that? That's how you get the fox eye on a budget, people. Milk makeup highlighter. It's like a balm. Okay, and it's like a rose gold, very nice color. So I just put it over here. The best part about this makeup is that you can put like the Rare Beauty um, primer, glowing primer, this product without makeup. So if you don't have makeup on, just put this on. Your skin looks beautiful, you know. I love to put it on my here, cupid's bow. I swear to God, it makes your lips look so pouty. From here, put it over here. Guys, this part makes such a big difference. Please do not underestimate it. It makes you look awake and glowing from within. This is the Kylie lip liner in 20. I just got it from New York. I haven't used a Kylie lip liner in so long. You can also carefully outline your lips, which I've done, but ever so subtly. Lip a bit. Ah, uh, just a bit. This is the Charlotte Tilbury lipstick in red carpet red. Oh my god, I haven't worn lip lipstick in so long and I'm so nervous. We've got some fox eye situation, a glow from within with a red lip. Let me show you the full look. Recording now. The look is very it's going for bohemian vibe, chill, but still fancy with the makeup. I don't know what look I'm going for. Don't don't look at the outfit, okay? It's just casual look. The main thing is this. I don't know. I could change my bag at the last minute, take something from my mom. Let's see. But this is the makeup look. I don't know what to feel about this. pajamas it is 11 pm at night i started getting ready at like 10 though and this is the state of my makeup i only reapplied the lipstick twice or thrice the snatched fox eye is still on and i am obsessed with this look it's so subtle i love it as you can see the highlighter is still going strong blush is gone however i love the makeup look i was getting so many second looks for everyone today and I approve and the red lipstick I kept getting compliments from my mom itself. By the way, I did my nails and I think they look beautiful and so glittery. I love them. Uh but I'm going to go take this off now because I'm so tired. So, I'll see you guys in my next video. Make sure to subscribe to the vlog channel and my Instagram. Bye. Take care.